Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here. Okay, so iPhone gates. The gate suffix is sometimes used paired with a noun to refer to a scandal of some kind, of course best known by Watergate, which was a political scandal. And so the iPhone gates every year are used to dramatically refer to pretty much literally any problem the iPhone has at all. Like if anyone finds anything with the iPhone that may be unintentional or any sort of problem in any way or may affect the user in a way that wasn't supposed to, you got yourself a gate, you get to name it. So there's chip gate, there's Ben gate, antenna gate, beauty gate, charge gate, U2 gate. We get a pretty constant flow of gates, I would say, every year when the new iPhone comes out. Then again, that's because we have a crew of people for sure looking for them every September. As soon as the iPhone gets announced and released, we're on it. Uh, and for good reason, it gets a lot of people talking about it. So the reason these are such a big deal is because of the massive, massive scale of the iPhone. Now we know smartphones do have problems sometimes. Quality control is a thing, so that's a big part of the reason why we have warranty programs and insurance programs and Apple Care. that's a big reason why these things exist. Sometimes things do go wrong and you have to be able to hold that company who did that thing wrong accountable for it. So in the fiscal year of 2017, from beginning to end, Apple sold 216 million iPhones. That is so many phones. But with that kind of success and that kind of scale comes the fact that if you have a, a small mistake in 0.01% of those iPhones that you shipped, whether it's manufacturing or quality control or some slip in tolerances, that will affect 21,600 iPhones. In fact, if they forget a part in literally, I did the math on this, 0.001% of iPhones, just some issue in that many, that's still more than 2,000 problems that Apple has to deal with. So pretty much any problem we find with the new iPhone, no matter how small, basically has to be treated as a large, potentially really important issue because of how many people it might affect. So the two main gates we've gotten this year have been in 2018, Beauty Gate and Charge Gate. You may have heard of either one of these. Beautygate affects potentially everyone who ever takes a selfie and cares about that selfie at all on the new iPhones. And Chargegate, we don't really know how many people it affects. So Beautygate refers to this extra skin smoothing effect that seems to be happening with the image processing from the iPhone XS's front facing camera, similar to what you might find in a beauty mode in another phone. Many people are noticing this. It's not even a, an issue or a glitch necessarily. Like it's happening with everyone's iPhones. It's more just like very unlike Apple. Apple usually has the more realistic front facing cameras. They avoid distortion, they avoid color shifting. They've long been the standard for selfie takers around the world. They can depend on that iPhone to show you exactly what you look like without any crazy beauty filters. But yet this year, as we've seen with the iPhone XS, it does. We do have a little bit of that skin smoothing effect it just doesn't seem like very Apple. Like they wouldn't put a worse camera in the new iPhone, would they? Apple wouldn't do that, right? Then the other one, ChargeGate, is actually more serious. And I think it's best explained by Lou's video who went much more in depth with it and testing it and going through all the explanations. But basically there's a bunch of versions of this. The most common one is that when some iPhone XS's or XS Max's are in standby and you plug them in, they don't start to charge until you wake them up then they start charging. It's a strange behavior, and this might not even be a big deal to you if you usually like wake up the phone while you're charging it anyway, but there again is that chance, like if you're affected, you might just toss the phone on the charger for a night and come back in an hour before you need to go out and you wake it up and it didn't charge at all and you're about to die and you have to leave. That's the type of situation you're looking at that's kind of a problem. So naturally when we see that, we kind of wonder, well, am I affected? What are the chances? It's pretty easy to test if you're affected, but how many iPhones are affected by this? And turns out if you look at Lou's video, it makes it look like a bunch of them potentially. Now something to note for people wondering why I didn't cover these in depth or why I didn't do a dedicated video on each one of these or something like that. Um, it's not because I'm sponsored by Apple or something. You know that's illegal, right? It's just really that it wasn't a huge deal to me. ChargeGate hasn't affected any of my devices. Trust me, I've checked. And the beauty face smoothing or whatever, for whatever reason, isn't as harsh on darker faces. It's more of just like an exaggerated HDR effect. It's different, it's very unlike Apple, but it wasn't really that insane to me. This is something that I think can easily be fixed with a software update. Um, plus I'm not a huge selfie taker anyway, so I guess it just kind of slipped by my radar. But the real reason these gates always turn into such a big deal is pretty much always how Apple responds to them, how Apple handles these gates. They're pretty much known for not really handling it. Like they will steer away as far away from acknowledging it as a problem as possible and just sort of make a statement about how 
Maybe we're using it wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, what, you were, you were holding the phone in a way that covers the antenna bands and makes the signal look like it drops? Well, that's fine, that's just, just don't hold the phone like that. You're holding it wrong. That's what it was. Oh, what's that? The big phone is literally bending in people's pockets? Oh, no, 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 that's just, that's, your pants really shouldn't be that tight. Actually, it's more of a feature letting you know that than a bug. Wait, have you, have you read, have you actually looked at the official Apple statement about the iPhone 4 antenna gate? It's kind of incredible. I'm gonna link it below just because it's worth another read in 2018. It basically went along the lines of, dear iPhone users, iPhone 4 is totally the best smartphone ever, first of all. It also has the best antennas ever. We got some reports that if you hold it a certain way, it drops the displayed bars of service. But hey, look, any smartphone will do this. So we're gonna push a software update that stops the iPhone from erroneously displaying less bars than other phones. In conclusion, nothing to see here. iPhone 4S, again, is the best phone ever. Thank you very much. Like I'm kind of expecting an Apple statement about this new iPhone XS charging problem, charge gate, sometime soon, just because it seems like a legitimate issue, but it'll probably be along the same lines. Like it'll probably go something like, dear iPhone users, iPhone XS and XS Max are clearly the best smartphones ever and there are best selling small and big iPhone yet, just FYI. We became aware of a, of, of a certain charging behavior that affects a small number of iPhone users. This behavior, it's different, but it's, it's, it's definitely more still of a, of a feature than a bug. But we'll be pushing a software update uh, to just change that behavior in the future in case you guys want it that way. Uh, again, iPhone XS is clearly the best phone yet. By the way, it also has the best battery life we've ever shipped. Thank you from Apple. Please keep buying these phones. And look, at the end of the day, people still keep buying iPhones for sure. Apple has some of the absolute best customer loyalty of any company in the world among anything, which is impressive and we just kind of hold Apple to a high standard at this point. But that's not super uncommon. If you look back and remember when Samsung had Galaxy Note 7s literally exploding in people's pockets, they were actually endangering the lives of their owners in various places, started getting banned at establishments for safety reasons, you couldn't fly with them, they were illegal to sell or buy anywhere for any reason. I mean, this is crazy for a smartphone. Samsung offered a trade-in program where they reported 95% of those trade-ins went on and got another Samsung phone. So you can bet iPhone users after a little beauty gate, a little bit of charge gate, they're, they're gonna chance it again with another iPhone. They're, they're probably gonna be back. But as always, there will be entire channels and, and reports dedicated to sifting through the new iPhone and many other phones as soon as they're released, looking for any possibility of any new issues, and as they should. Because not only does it make the juiciest, most clickable headlines, but it also kind of forces Apple or whatever company is involved to respond and to fix it. And for that, the products get better and we all win. So thanks, Gates. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.